All right, well, this is definitely a contentious topic for a Friday. I was just planning on coming home, playing some games, maybe doing a live stream, uh, and then this happened pretty early in my workday. Uh, so it looks like we are going to be seeing an end to blocks on Twitter. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this is going to mean. Um, I don't know really like what this is going to look like, but everyone's speculating that this is going to be the end of Twitter. Some people are saying, oh my God, I, I won't come back if I can't block people. So let's kind of go through this article real quick from Dexerto. I don't know if they have any informa uh, more information than what they had earlier today, but basically it says in a new reply, X, formerly known as Twitter, owner Elon Musk says that the team will be removing the ability to block people. He claims that the block function makes no sense. Musk's takeover has seen a huge overhaul to the X ecosystem, including uh, introducing Twitter Blue, a paid service. Uh, it says, amongst the replies, Musk has been met with people asking him not to remove the block function as one user says it prevents harassment. Blocking a user on X prevents that user from engaging with you directly. Yeah, I think we all know that by now. While they can still tag you, they can't see your content or have immediate access. It's a vital feature for some and one that can help prevent the rise in hate speech that has been discovered on the platform. Now, the number of hate speech incidents on the platform, that's a whole separate topic. I know there's a lot of people that disagree with the actual number of hate incidents. What is hate speech versus free speech? Uh, what is a hate crime? All that stuff. I, You know, everyone's going to fall on different sides of the fence on that topic. But I do think it's still important to have the ability to stop somebody from harassing you. I think that's a fair thing to have on a social media platform. So the actual the actual uh, tweet from Elon here earlier today it was a reply to somebody else. He had said, yes, we're going to uh, block is going to be deleted as a feature except for DMs. And so basically... The community notes came in here and they said that many of the notes claim the Google Play Store's requirement is only to block users from the app, not for users to block each other. This is incorrect. Quote, provides an in-app system for blocking UGC and users. So basically what they're saying is that if the app removes its ability to actually block users from seeing their content, interacting with their content, so on and so forth, that that will actually violate Apple and Google's Play Store policies uh, which will essentially get the app removed from the Play Store if they do not provide the ability to block other users. So my personal two cents on the matter, um, I've seen a lot of female creators, a lot of especially bigger accounts saying, oh, men don't understand how much we get harassed. Men don't understand the, the usefulness of blocking people. I'm somebody that blocking for me is a last resort. I only block people on Twitter if they are just flat out being a complete dick and a troll and I've had enough of them. And then I'll just say, you know, you're not worth my time. If muting the conversation isn't enough, if they come to my Twitter account and harass me, then I'll block them. It's that simple. But in general, once I'm done with the conversation, if I'm done arguing with somebody, I just mute the conversation and move on. Blocking is not required. I, as a guy, and most guys, based on the polls that I'm seeing on Twitter, anytime a woman says, are you a man? Are you a woman? Are you pro-removing blo block? Are you anti-removing block? The majority of men voting on the poll say, no, we want to keep the block button. So now what I'm seeing recently, with the last few hours here, is basically that a lot of people are chiming in and Elon is responding to them, saying that essentially this could be a knee-jerk freakout by a lot of people, misunderstanding, which of course Elon kind of feeds off that energy. He feeds off the chaos. So for example, this one here says, I'm seeing a lot of users concerned about removing blocks. We can make mutes stronger, like not allow people you mute to reply or quote you. We can also transfer your block list to mute list. Preventing an account from seeing your post does not work in practice. Anyone with any intent can find out what you post by simply creating another account or logging out. Yes, the thing is, though, that does create the the effort is on the person that really wants to stalk you or harass you. They have to go the extra mile to make the extra account. It's not as simple as saying, well, they can still see what you can what you post. They're just not going to be able to come harass you. If that person wants to come find you, they have to make another account and another account and another account. Um, so somebody quote tweeted this and kind of expounded on it. They said, well said, people are definitely freaking out because what they assume removing blocks means. Most of what they assume is incorrect. I'm assuming this person, Christopher Stanley, has some inside knowledge because I do believe Elon actually res uh, responded, although this isn't helpful. He says mayhem over nothing. I mean, I swear to God, Elon, <laughs> you got to take something, dude. You got to chill. Um, so the long and the short of it for me is as a social media platform, if you want your account private, you can always private it. My personal Facebook is private. I don't uh, accept friend requests from anybody who I'm not actually friends with in real life, who I don't know through association or who isn't part of my family. Twitter is different. I, my Twitter account's not protected. It's not private. 
but if blocking people still allows them to post um, sexual content, harassing content, anything that you know you can't see just by muting them, let's say for example you have somebody who's harassing you, trolling you, you mute them. Okay, great. They come to your uh, account, they come to all of your your Twitter thread, and they go to all of your posts and they reply to every single one of them with you know nudity, pornography, things that are allowed on Twitter. But, you know, things that you don't want being in your replies and your mentions on your Twitter thread. So you can't see it, but everybody else who follows you does. That's not an effective way of getting rid of somebody. If muting them is going to prevent them from being seen on your Twitter threads, maybe that's useful. Maybe if they don't know they're blocked, they're just muted, but it's actually basically like a shadow ban block type thing where they just don't know it. Maybe that'd be more useful. I have seen people say... Blocking people just incentivizes them to harass you further because they wear the, the block as a badge of honor. I believe that's also possibly true. But honestly, I this whole thing where Elon every few months just kind of shakes things up. I mean, if you look at Tesla stock, if you look at things right now, things are not going great in the Elon sphere, okay? So I think we need to have a little bit of stability sometime soon here. I'm not pro-Elon or anti-Elon. I, I like some of the things he's done. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. But I'm definitely thinking that if this is a true dismantling of the block button, it could spell a large disaster for Twitter. I, That's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think, though. I, I'd be curious to hear you guys' responses down below, what your uh, thoughts are hypothetically about how this is going to be changed, switched up, or whatever. Um, I don't believe it's going to be a complete abandonment of the block button. At least I hope it's not. I hope it's going to be something where you can more curate uh, who can see your content and how, but who knows? Uh, either way, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, let's keep our eye on this one.